Uh, all right, yeah, no, 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 I get that it was payback, but my... Yeah. <laughs> It's not long distance, even if it's in India. It, you, so I'm on the 14th hole? Call, okay, Lloyd, he's got these back. great what? Cuban cigars. Uh, I'm actually conversing with another human being. Very oh, really? different than just... To shout. the outside observer, it's the same level of annoyance. Well, I need to talk to my friend. I can barely okay, hear you. Okay, well, maybe if you talk lower to your friend, I'll talk lower to my other yeah. self. Oh, great, great. Okay. <laughs> Larry David, yes, that's exactly <laughs> it. He hit the nail on the head. It really tees up today's talker, which is all about <laughs> cell phone etiquette. We love this. Okay, almost everybody has one, and an opinion on where and when it's appropriate to talk in public. So we decided it'd be a great idea to ask Jenna to look into it. Don't you like that I went yes. on a social experience? Yes. yes. Okay, we've all been there. You're in the checkout line in a restaurant or just walking down the street, and someone is talking very loudly on a cell phone. You can hear the whole conversation. It, it almost feels like a conference call that no one signed up for. So we decided to find out what people think when it comes to cell phone consideration. <laughs> If you can afford a $1,500 cell phone, you can afford some earbuds. We don't want to hear all that. I just want to show you how rude folks are walking around talking on his speakerphone. I'm at the grocery store, sweetie. I'm actually on speakerphone because I have no regard for other people. <laughs> These days, communication and connection have never been more convenient. We take our cell phones everywhere we go. In line at the checkout, walking down the street, even working out at the gym. We can take and make calls at any time. But should we? Etiquette expert Lizzie Post explains. Waiting rooms, subways, trains, airplanes, anything like that is going to be a really difficult spot where you have a captive audience who might not really want to hear your conversation. We decided to conduct an unofficial social experiment on cell phone etiquette around 30 Rockefeller Plaza. We asked my normally sweet and considerate assistant, Julia, to grab her cell phone and chat obnoxiously away. First stop, a coffee shop, where Julia shared all of the details about her weekend on speakerphone. Hold on one second. Can I please do a grande vanilla sweet cream cold brew? She made this amazing salad last night. What did she put in it? Other customers in line had opinions. When you hear somebody like this talking on speakerphone, do you feel like I'm in line? Is it rude? Does it bother you? <laughs> uh, it's, it is a bit rude. Yeah. yeah. It's like, we don't need to be part of your conversation. <laughs> so what should she do instead, do you think? Take it off speaker? Take it off the phone. Say, can I call you back? Next stop, the fitness center at 30 Rock. And was never going to grow up. Where Julia pumped up the volume in the wrong way. I hate to interrupt your workout, but does it irritate you when people listen to loud videos and TikToks when you're at the gym? 100%. Rude, right? It's incredibly annoying, yes. <laughs> it's like, I want to just give them my headphones and say, here, put these in, you know? You're the closest, so is it distracting? At first it is, but sometimes the headphones can be annoying for people to plug in, so I can kind of relate to wanting to play it out loud. For our last experiment, Julia took a phone conversation on the go. Did I tell you about my flight this weekend? Where we asked, is talking loudly on the phone in such close quarters bad etiquette? It's delayed. Again. Raise y'all's hand if you think it's kind of rude to talk super loud in a small space. Y'all do, kind of? And you no, think? I don't really know. Okay, so tell me why you think it's kind of rude. People are standing in a quiet elevator. <laughs> it's kind of rude to be screaming in their ear. I think sometimes it's like an awkward situation because you feel like now you're part of the conversation that you didn't wish to be a part of in the first place. Oh, so why do these behaviors feel offensive? They really impact the strangers around us in public places. And a big goal of etiquette is that we try to have minimal impact on the strangers around us in public places. Wow. Okay, can we first give a quick shout out to my yeah. lovely assistant, Julia, Amazing Julia who does not, she's an incredible How actress. the salad part? I know, right? What was on the salad? Balsamic. <laughs> um, she was talking to her mom. She's such a trooper, as well as Starbucks and our facilities team for allowing us to do that social experiment yes. in the gym. So, you guys, we polled our Today viewers at Today.com. 97% said it's not okay to use your phone at a coffee shop or a restaurant, and 95% also said no to cell phone usage at the 
the gym. I would never do a phone call in front of Hoda Kotb at the gym. <laughs> and again, an overwhelming majority said it's not okay to use your phone in the elevator. I feel like it's especially uh, unkind or rude to the the person who's taking your money and taking your yes. order. Yes. Have you ever been there and someone's like, anyway, what? What? Oh, a, a large whatever. Blah blah blah. Yeah, and then the like, people behind you are like, well, now yeah. I could have been going. Yes. Yeah. The other place like is the grocery store. Oh, mm -hmm. yeah. It's hard because those lines get really long. Yeah. You have multiple kids. You're waiting, yes. and and also you're right. Or the nail place. Like you try to go get your nails done. You want to like zen out. Yeah. And yes. people are like, blah, blah, blah. by the way, it's not just speakerphone. Like you put the headphones in. I could I can tell you what's on. Like if you hear one side of the conversation, I want to be like, tell Aunt Beth she can bring a date to the wedding. <laughs> Would you ever say to somebody, look, I'm really trying to concentrate or rest? Would you ever say anything out loud if no. someone was on their phone? I've only done it at the library. Oh, yeah. Okay. As a as a nerd. Yeah. That I am. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Well, thank you guys. We love you. <laughs> thank you, no, Jenna. really, you. No, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Okay, okay, good. Coming up next, we're going to thank Harry Smith for taking us to oh. a Florida car wash. Yeah. Car wash. Problem. Oh. Oh. Harry, Harry, Harry. Oh, you're on TV. Oh, my gosh. It is so rude. He's, <laughs> it's a car wash changing the lives of its workers and community. A touching story with Harry. But first, this is today on NBC. Okay, you can pick back up. That was good. Though. I'm like, Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.